Hi Chaitanya and Lakshmi. Good morning. Uh, hello. hello, good morning. Good morning. Uh, thanks for joining. So uh, let me introduce first uh, myself, Ram Babu. I have total nine years of experience in IT industry. And currently I'm working as a middleware consultant. So I have worked on like uh, WebSphere, WebLogic, and uh, Vivas and Ova. So um, I have been there for uh, HPCL, IBM, currently working in Atos as okay. a middleware, uh, middleware tech lead. Okay, so, you mean you are working in Atos in the sense in Bangalore location? Yes, correct. Near to Brookfield Hospital? Uh, oh no, ITPL. Uh, in ITPL, is it? Yeah, uh, ITPL. You and I do work in ITPL, Ram. This is Chaitanya here. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, nice meeting you. No, boss, or uh, another company you move out of? What does? Okay. You, no, 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 I'm asking you, uh, currently you're working in Otters or you no, no, have... No. no, I've seen Otters building here uh, near Brookfield. I stay near to Brookfield. So I've received one or two emails from Otters as well for middleware uh, admin. So mm -hmm. that's the reason I asked you. Okay. So here Brookfield Mall, uh, the Gopalan Enterprise. Yes, uh, yes. That is, uh, that is only administration office. Okay. Okay. So my interview was scheduled there and somehow yes. I missed it. Yeah, interview they conduct there only. And okay. uh, uh, the candidate gets selected, then they'll move to ITPL. Okay, in ITPL which building? Uh, there are four, four buildings. Atas was there in different different buildings and different oh. floors. Okay, fine. It is not occupied with single building. I okay, was there fine. Buildings were there. fine, got it. Okay. So, what about Lakshmi Narayana? Yeah, I am working in Chennai, Zarago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you both are working on uh, any other middleware or uh, uh, other platform? Mm -hmm. A kind of tool actually web development mm -hmm. i'm working on uh, networking part uh, rom uh -huh. okay okay then fine so any idea on application service like middleware hmm. as far as i know so the application servers are used for deployments and if there is any new versions developed by the developers so They'll be deploying onto the production servers and uh, testing phases will be there. Mm -hmm. So these are the things theoretically I know, but I don't have hands-on experience. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So today we'll see uh, as a part of demo. So first I will introduce uh what is WebSphere? how it came into the market and uh, we are going to talk about application servers how it came into the market what is the reason what is the advantages okay so uh, let me start with WebSphere uh, itself WebSphere is a platform so uh, whenever you talk about uh, operating system if anyone asks you uh, what platform you are running in your uh, uh, web application or on which platform you are working, networking, so which platform you are doing. So if anyone asks you what you will say, so you will say immediately that it is operating system uh, administration like Windows or Unix or Linux or Solaris. So here operating system is a word it says it's a word so under this operating system we do have uh, different different uh, operating systems like windows and linux linux flavors and all okay so like in the 
same way here WebSphere is a platform. It is it is not a single software. It is a set of softwares. Okay. So it, uh, WebSphere was introduced by the IBM, and uh, it contains a set of softwares. Here I have listed some uh, what are the softwares available under WebSphere. So the first one is WebSphere application server, portal server, process server, comma server. Okay. And WebSphere MB and MQ. Okay. So these are all the list of softwares available under WebSphere. So see these list of softwares having their own features. So we cannot compare uh, one to another because uh, these are all individual software for different purposes. But here WebSphere application server is the base. So this is the base for the entire uh, the remaining softwares. Okay. And so we are going to learn WebSphere applications over what is uh, how it came into the market and what is the purpose and advantages and all. Okay. So before going to that, first we have to understand what is the definition of server. So what is meant by server? Anyone knows? What is meant like by server? Like a virtual point. So what the server is doing? Any server. It can be a operating system. It can be a database. Or it it is a, a main control for database. database store. Kind of uh, control for the remaining systems under this server and uh, can store huge data. Mm -hmm. Actually, the server meaning is it execute the client request. So what the server is doing is server take the request from the client. Client means who is using that system or who is requesting uh, to get something. Okay. End so end server, users. Yes. So server take the request from the client and process the request or execute the request. Process means execution. So execute the request and give response to the client. Suppose if you talk about operating system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I wanted to <clears throat> I wanted to create a folder in my desktop. So here operating system is my server. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new folder. So I just uh, right click on the mouse and I will go to the new and I click on folder. So here I am requesting, I am giving the request to my operating system to create a folder. So operating system will take my request and it will uh, process and execute and it can be created a new folder in my desktop. Okay. So uh, whenever you talk about database systems, so database systems read queries, SQL queries from the uh, administrator. I mean SQL programmer. So who is who is writing the program? The database system can take the request and it will execute the request and give a response to the client. So am I correct? Do you agree or not? Yes. I, so the general definition of the server is it take the request from the client and process the request and give response to the client. Here, the server job is execution. The server job is execution. execution. Yes, executing the job, processing the request, which are comes from the client. It can be any server. It can be operating system or database or web server, application server, it can be anything. Okay? Okay. That is the meaning of uh, server. So now what I'm going to tell you is how application servers came into the market. Okay, so what is the purpose? So earlier days we have a language called scripting language when computer was introduced in 1970s. I think so. So uh, in 1970s there is no language called Java. There is no language called C and C++ nothing. So uh, the people uh, introduced computer, okay, and uh, we have a language called scripting language. 
scripting language using this scripting language they have written some small small programs and they have executed and uh, they can see some output so whatever the program uh, accordingly that they can see the some output so here for executing this scripting language we need a container so there is a platform there is a place right so without uh, place we cannot do anything there there should be a base for executing right so for um, scripting language so we have a ma file manager is the compiler and executor area so this is the compiler and this is the execution area for scripting language okay so in scripting language small programs they started writing small programs and executing the programs so accordingly they, they'll get some output okay so after some days in 1980s c and c plus code introduced okay c c languages came into the market and using this c and c plus plus we can write uh, some advanced programs so and compared to scripting okay so c and c plus plus we can write uh, we can customize we can uh, we started uh, writing different different programs for different purposes okay and after writing this code we need a container we need a place to execute at that time they have introduced a c compiler c compiler is the area where the c and c plus plus code can be executed and they can see the output okay in the similar way uh, we have introduced code java in 1990s so our revolution started from java so uh, first they have started um, i mean core java was introduced in 1996 i think okay so uh, using this core java so, uh, the people started writing uh, very more advanced programming so compared to scripting in c and c++ so in this case also we need a container for executing so there is a container called jvm java virtual mission so i think you heard about jvm java virtual mission so it is a container where java code can be executed so using this java core core java so we have started writing programs it is not a language so using this java language we are started writing programs program means program containing set of code so it can be executed it can be give some output some result okay so in core java so we have a jvm okay so it is just a simple program so there is no uh, nothing else so this is just a simple advanced programming than c and c++ okay okay so after that j2wg came into the market java platform 2 enterprise edition i think you heard about this also j2wg am i correct yes yes so what is the advantage of this j2wg J2W means it is a advanced Java programming. So when compared to Core Java, Core Java uh, will not give any kind of web pages. So it will just writing the programs, and executing, and uh, uh, getting the output from the command prompt. So nothing else. But in advanced Java programming, Java Platform 2 Enterprise Edition came into the market, and from this. Uh, the people started writing the application writing started developing the applications so here applications so application means here we have to think about what is meant by application application means it is a set of programs okay so application mm -hmm. is a set of programs suppose when i am talking about my gmail okay so gmail is one application okay yes. so, and the same way i am talking about hdfc bank okay so this is one application so in term generally we don't uh, we don't talk like uh, application so generally people used to say it is a website so nothing but application only 
okay? okay so whatever the whatever the websites we are accessing from internet whatever the websites nowadays uh, we have everything is internet only so if you want any doubt you can uh, just open the google and type whatever you want so what is meant by google google is one of the search engines hmm. yeah that is search engine that we can call it as application search engine application okay yeah, yeah. and okay we are using bank applications we are using facebook we are using make my trip for red bus so all these applications flipkart amazon all these applications are uh, all these are websites but in general uh, when you are talking about web sphere we, we have to call it as uh, it is a technical word application okay so using j2we people started writing uh, people yeah. started developing the applications so what yeah. kind of applications uh, yeah, if it is completely static page also it will be application huh? yes it will be application okay 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 so whatever the things we are accessing from internet everything is application only okay okay so j2we uh, gives us it is a very the advanced java programming language so using this we can develop the application application means application is nothing but it is a set of programs so one application contains a lot of programs one program contains a lot of code code means what the code is doing code is doing uh, the instructions what are the instructions given by the programmer the code is executing that instructions and giving the output okay so here we have started developing the applications so what kind of applications we can develop using java okay so first application is web application first we have started developing the uh, web applications so web application means uh, it contains web modules so what are the web modules servlet jsp and html servlet is means it is dynamic pages so what are the application uh, having some dynamic pages it is one type of java code so which can be executed in the server side okay and jsp jsp means java server pages it is also a java code which is used to develop web pages okay and html html for presentation only static pages so when you talk about servlet and jsp these two are dynamic pages and this is, uh, we can develop dynamic pages using servlet and jsp and using html we can develop only static pages of application okay so by combining these three by grouping these three so we can we can uh, we can call it as web application okay so web application is nothing but it is a just normal application okay so where we can see only information and data okay suppose when whenever open uh, let me open one website this one jawaharlal nehru technological university hyderabad okay so this is one web application so this web application contains multiple pages either dynamic or static so if you move over the mouse here you can see dynamic pages this is this is dynamic menu okay yes, and okay. here yes when you click on director so it is redirecting to who is the director and we can see the information about him okay so here dynamic page i can move from one page to another page that is called dynamic page and in dynamic page static pages are included this is static page see here this image is static this we cannot change so we cannot navigate if you click on this one nothing happen because this is static and if you click on this the uh, if you click on this information it is not going to anywhere this is static content okay, okay. 
so if suppose link is available means text link something that is dynamic that is dynamic so okay. whatever pages we are seeing here all are uh, developed in jsp or html and so let okay so this kind of code just java programmer used for developing this uh, uh web application so web application means it contains uh, multiple static pages multiple and dynamic pages dynamic pages okay only for information just okay. for information so we are not doing anything here just we are going to read the information and we we will see what kind of updates available and who is the vice chancellor so just for information we are uh we are opening this website so there is no business in this so this is just for information so here <clears throat> we started developing the web applications web applications or non business applications that means it contains only dynamic pages and static pages and pdfs images text documents error pages so all these combination of nothing web application web application so here how do you how i am able to access this application so this application i wanted to access from internet this has to deploy somewhere so then only i can able to access right suppose yes. if i de suppose if i deploy if i develop i am the programmer i am the java programmer so i have developed this application i am running in my local machine so i can see the pages i can do whatever i want but so i wanted to give this application services to the uh, end users so i mean it can be a so it can be a student it can be a end user it can be anyone okay so uh, worldwide so it has to be accessible so at that time what i have to do i have to install this application in somewhere am i correct or not yes so whenever we are going to deploy this web application so we cannot deploy the pages individual pages so there are a lot of pages servlet pages and there are multiple jsp pages and html pages lot of images will be there lot of text documents lot of pdfs will be there so in that case if you keep uh, all the pages in one folder and if you deploy that folder uh, the pages will not deploy properly so that's why that's why we will make it as one rk file called var file dot var file so java programmer will do that var file so var file means web rk file so for deploying into the server okay and the uh, web application ramu yes can't we use a zip and a rare files rare formats to deploy rare, rare we can use zip we cannot use okay 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 so here for deployment purpose we are asking this file these all these all pages uh, copy into one folder and when we are working that folder as dot var file for deploying into the server okay and remember that all web applications are non business applications just for information we are not going to do any kind of business work there only for static and dynamic pages only for information okay so this web application Uh, uh we have developed web applications and we need a server to maintain this web application so in that uh, in the days we have introduced a server called web server web server means uh, web server having a container called web container so that container can execute this var file so where can i run where can i store this application i can store and i can run this web application in web server so we have introduced uh, multiple web servers so one is apache i think you heard about this and iis internet information service 
and sun one i planet and ihs ihs means ibm http server this is ibm product and ohs oracle http server so these are all the example of uh, web server web server so yes you can choose any web server to deploy web application web application means normal application only for information not for any kind of business okay okay uh, suppose business in the sense means uh, some foreign exchange sites uh, flip card like this i'll, I'll come to okay okay so earlier days people knows only uh very early days people doesn't know how to develop web applications but now people knows how to develop applications how to access uh internet came into the market and internet more popular and through internet people are started accessing the web applications and they are utilizing okay and uh, after some days <clears throat> after some days we have started developing the business applications also business applications we can develop using ejb and advanced java programming under j2we okay so this is one of the module this is one of the uh, angle in java so java uh, ejb means enterprise java bean so using this we can develop uh, business logic here we are developing the web pages right in the same way using ejb we can write only business logic we cannot develop web pages okay okay so using ejb uh, enterprise java bean so we can develop business logic i'm going to write business logic and not for web pages web pages means tablet jsp html using this code we are developing the web pages the collection of web pages is nothing but web application right so here in this ejb we can write only business logic we cannot develop web pages okay so then what is the use of business logic business logic the end user cannot see suppose if i open hdfc bank hdfc bank uh, is one bank application right so no problem okay so anyway let me open another website so in flipkart application end user can see only pages web pages so he cannot see what kind of business logic internally they have written so end user can see only web pages and images okay and what are the updates available this is one web page so in this web page dynamic web page so in this web page i can see dynamic menus so i can see images okay so in this this is a business application this is not a web application so it contains business logic and web pages also okay, here here i am not seeing i am not going to do anything in this uh, jawaharlal nehru just i am going to read and uh, uh, exit okay but here i can read and i can so purchasing items means business so there is a business logic inside the flipkart application so which they have written in ejb okay so not for the developing the web pages so what are the modules available so this ejb applications we can call it as java applications so in java applications we do have ejb modules so in web application we have web modules in the same way here 
Java application having EJB modules, what kind of EJB is available? So session EJB and entity EJB and message driven EJB. So we will talk about more what is session entity and EJB in our regular classes. So as of now, just uh, understand EJB. EJB is for to develop the business logic inside the application, not for the page. And we will uh, compress, we will archive this uh, module business logic, entire business logic as a jar file for deploying into the system. Okay. So in this case, um, I need a server to deploy my jar file. I need a server to deploy my server. So here for web applications, I have a server called web server. So in the similar way, I need a uh, I need a uh, I need a server to deploy my uh, business code. Okay, so the, as of now there is no server. Okay, uh, remember that. Okay, and after that we have introduced another application called enterprise application. So enterprise application means it is the combination so where, of application. Uh, Ramu, sorry server. to interrupt you. So where do you deploy these jar files? That's what I will come to now. Okay. 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 So, so application. So enterprise application contains web applications and Java applications. So web application means web application contains web pages. Web pages means it can be a static page. It can be a dynamic page. It can be an image, text documents, PDFs, error pages. It can be anything. Dynamic menus. Okay. And a Java application means it contains business logic. Okay. So web application, uh, uh, we have already seen. Uh, I mean, like example and Java application we have seen. Okay. So where you, you see web application and Java application and both. So that application we can call it as enterprise application. So here Flipkart is enterprise application. Here I can see web pages. I can see uh, I can business application like Amazon, IRCTC, okay, and LIC, and Make My Trip, Book My Show, right? So all these applications are business business logic. Logic. Yeah. business logic. So there is a business logic running inside, but business logic end user cannot see. Only programmer knows what kind of business logic they have written. Okay, and all the bank websites are business bank business logic, but end user can see only web pages. Okay, so all bank applications all. Uh, business like Flipkart, Amazon, ARCTC, all these applications are nothing but enterprise applications. Okay, and we will compress this uh, dot var and jar again like ER file. ER means enterprise or a file. Okay, so like this, we will compress and we will deploy. But here, I don't have any server to deploy my jar files and ER files. So then where can I deploy this business logic? Business logic means uh, this application will get more and more requests, right? Mm, yes. Suppose, suppose web application, uh, JNTU University, who will access JNTU University? Students can access. Yes, yeah, okay? And professors, lecturers can access. And whoever wants to join into that university, they'll check. Only limited people are there. Okay. For web application, only limited requests will come so that web server can be able to handle. Web servers means web servers are single server. We cannot create multiple web servers with the single uh, single instances available and it contains only web containers. Okay. Yes. So in this situation, I need a special server to run my business and my website. So in that situation, we need a server, right? 
so in this situation we have introduced application server so i think uh, if you go back 10 years ago 10 or 15 years ago there is no online shopping there is no irctc there is no flipkart you bank application so do you think uh, 15 years ago there is a sbi online application no right no 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 so online applications started online business started from uh, like uh, near to 15 years 10 years or 15 years ago so before that there is no business applications at all so there is only web applications okay so i need a special server to apply my business logic so in that situation we have introduced application servers so what the application server is doing application servers are used for run time environment so run time environment means so who ever accessing the application suppose uh, for example take your mobile so in mobile you are running lot of applications like your facebook like your whatsapp like your uh, what what message like your contacts so there is a lot of applications in mobile right so there is a automatic recording or teams so these applications are running in your mobile suppose if you switch off your mobile uh, then what about that applications these applications are still running or shut down it is not shut down actually but it will stop running yes it will stop running and whenever you start your mobile then applications are you going to start any application or application coming up automatically no, no we have to start it right no oh, you are starting mobile not application yeah once we start my our uh, mobiles so automatically the applications will be running in background not the not in the foreground yes we are running in the background and you can utilize the uh, updates will come automatically you uh, you don't uh, log in again to your uh, whatsapp messages will come automatically whatever the messages came in that yes. okay so here run time run time means continuously these applications are running in the server okay suppose i am the end user uh, i wanted to book a train ticket midnight 1 o'clock i can book because the air ctc available that time yes. so that means that means application is running continuously in the server right am i correct or yes. not so if yes, the application uh, if the application is running then you can able to access if the application is not running then you cannot access it will be the business log so here run time environment means so what application server is doing application servers continuously if you use or not continuously applications will run in the server like your mobile if you use or not applications will run in your mobile right you are not using your facebook in your mobile still you will get updates still you will get messages from whatsapp because you are not Uh, i mean you are not chatting but you will get messages when you are you start your mobile data am i correct or not yeah. so here yes. application server continuously running in your mobile in the same way here also application server continuously executes your application and it provides services to the end users who are accessing the application any time anywhere okay that is called a run time environment okay yes and we can deploy all java j2 we applications any kind of applications we can deploy here we can deploy web applications we have web server but still we can deploy web applications in application servers also so we can deploy any type of java code either web application or java application or enterprise application or rare classes red up um, resource adapter classes so our jar modules okay and uh, <clears throat> libraries java libraries 
so anything we can deploy into your application server okay and application continuously execute in the server so we can create multiple servers so application server is not single so we can create multiple servers as per our business requirement so why need multiple servers because single server cannot handle suppose i have one application server i have deployed my flipkart application okay so how many clients will access flipkart application for one minute in india every hello yes yes we are having a no we were unable to hear you for some time okay now it is audible yeah yeah okay so here application continuously execute in the server and we can create multiple servers in application server so why need multiple servers one will be primary and other will be backup hmm that is okay but in primary also we do have multiple servers mm -hmm. so the reason is suppose talk about irctc how many users accessing irctc for one minute in india Was mostly who who ever uh, want to book the train or who ever want to check the availability of trains they will access so yes we like uh, huge number huge number we cannot count lakhs of people right so there yeah. are on 120 crores of people in india so out of 120 in worst case at least 1 lakh people yeah 1 lakh right so mm. server is getting 1 lakh requests that means you have deployed application in application server because it is a business application you have deployed in the application server so i have yeah. only one server i have deployed my irctc so the server capacity is 1000 requests for one minute because there is no server involved so which can handle 1000 requests for one minute right even it is application server so but here i am getting one lakh requests then how the server can able to handle these many requests how the server can able say some people what they will do is uh, they'll only they'll not book the tickets they will try to uh, get the sms they'll try to check the pnr status they'll try to check the availability there are a lot of lot of requests every request different different requests will come to the server right so in that situation how the server can able to handle all these kind of requests it's impossible right yes so we need a multiple servers so multiple servers we can create in application server only so in web servers we cannot create multiple servers that is the drawback of web server okay and we have advantages like failover load balance scalability and the session management so these kind of topics will comes under cluster you heard about cluster cluster is nothing but it is a group of servers unit right single unit right so the cluster contain multiple servers these servers will communicate with each other and they'll uh, give response whatever the response they'll struggle and they'll give response to the end users whatever what kind of server okay so here features of uh, failover load balance scalability and session management so uh, these kind of features available in application servers so we don't see any uh, server like this okay in the world and we have security uh, we are the persons to enable security because whenever you are trying to access your gmail you see https here yes so this s means it is a secure socket layer you are, uh, you are logging into your gmail with your uh, individual username and password it should be security so we are the persons to enable security for uh, in, uh, like uh, importing the ssl certificates right 
so these kind of security is available from application server okay so like this video from multiple features of application servers okay so that's why we have introduced application service and it came into the market in this way i hope everyone clear yes so now you understand how you are able to access the applications from where these applications are coming any application so people will think if the website is not coming people will think like uh, internet is not working or my internet slow they'll call internet guys so that is no problem problem with the not inter with the internet so application is running in the server people doesn't know end user doesn't know right from where these pages are coming from where these applications are coming so these applications are deployed in some server the server is located in some there okay so whenever you hit the particular url the uh, domain name flipkart.com or facebook.com so that request is going to the particular server where the application is deployed through internet so then you can able to see the pages and everything okay so now come to know come to our story so what kind of application servers we have in the market okay so we have full time application servers so first one is full time any application not only uh, sorry uh, it can be install any application which is written in java it can be a web application it can be a business logic it can be an enterprise application it can be a java library it can be a rare resource adapter classes it can be a normal java anything okay so anything it can handle it can execute it can provide services to the end users so here full time application service web sphere application server this is from ibm latest version 8.5 and we have other application servers like weblogic this is from oracle latest version 12c and we have jboss application server this is from red hat latest version 7.3 and apart from these full application service we have partial application service like apache tomcat and the glanfish glassfish so why i am referring partial partial means we cannot deploy huge business applications like bank like bank application we cannot deploy in this bank is very critical and who whatever the business request getting huge huge and request more and more request we cannot deploy in this only small type of business applications it's and like we are not able to purchase all, license uh, Hmm? It, Sorry? it's like their capacity is lower they they will handle less number of requests per minute or per hour it's freeware you can download and use uh, no actually i'm asking like uh, the comparison between full time and partial is uh, partial application servers will not handle more requests than full uh, full time applications not, not like that Uh, we cannot uh, we cannot even deploy critical business applications only okay. small business application who what are the applications getting very very less request uh, they can go with this uh, apache and the glanfish okay that is called partial partial means it's not related to requests it is related to business mm -hmm. and full means full business like uh, irc Okay. Okay. So we are going to learn uh, WebSphere application server 8.5 version. Okay. Okay. Am I clear? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is the demo session. Uh, you can give feedback to your uh, vendor or to the next vendor. for the next okay sure thank you thank you thanks bye thank you bye bye, bye.